The last type of numbers are the complex numbers. These are represented by the bolded letter C. Complex numbers, some examples of these are 0 plus 0i, negative 3.2 plus 7i, 1 minus 10i, pi i, etc. Notice there's something in common with all of these numbers, the i part. The general form for a complex number is a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. This is often called the real part, the a, and the b is often called the imaginary part. You can help remember this by a complex number is any one or two part numbers with i as a part. So if it has i in it, it's a complex number. The mathematical definition is a number made of a real and imaginary part. To help you remember it, complex numbers are also called imaginary numbers. That's where the i comes from. And another note, and this is sort of a subgroup of complex numbers, if the real part of the complex number is zero, then it would just be bi. The remaining imaginary part is often called a pure complex number. Since they consist of real numbers, the complex numbers are uncountable. But we can see what this looks like graphically. Graphically, there is a real axis and complex axis. We would graph it by using A on the real axis. So whatever A is, this being the positive side, this being the negative side, and B where on the complex axis, where this is the positive imaginary part and the negative imaginary part. And so if this was our A and this was our B, the complex number would be plotted at this point Inter intersection of these two parts. This would be the graphical representation of a complex number. Visual organizers are a good way to help us organize and make sense of the different types of numbers. Let's go ahead and use a bubble map or circle map to organize our number types. The smallest number type are the natural numbers. The next biggest type are the whole numbers. Notice the natural numbers are included inside the whole numbers set. The next bigger set is the integers. Whole numbers and natural numbers are inside the set of integers. The next bigger set are the rationals. And the integers, whole numbers, and naturals are all inside of the rational set. Separate from the rational set is the irrational set. Remember the irrational set even though it is smaller graphically here there are more irrational numbers than there are rational numbers. The set that includes both of these rationals and irrationals are the reals. Even there, though there's extra space in here remember that the reals are only irrationals and rationals. There are no other numbers besides those two for real numbers. The next bigger set is the complex numbers. And there's the additional set of pure complex numbers that's inside the complex number set. 
Another visual organizer that we can use is what's often called a flow mapping. And let's go ahead and look to see what the flow mapping looks like. Our smallest set of numbers are our natural numbers. The next biggest set is the whole numbers. Any natural number is also a whole number. The next biggest set are integers. Any natural or whole number is also an integer. The next biggest set is our rationals. There's also the additional set separate from rationals of irrationals. And both irrationals and rationals are both real numbers. Real numbers are also a part of complex numbers. And then there's the additional pure complex numbers. We can use these types of flow mappings to help us describe what kind of number it is. If we talk about the number negative 3, negative 3, the smallest group negative 3 belongs to is an integer. Well, if it's an integer, that means it's also a rational, a real number, and a complex number. If we look at the number 0, the smallest group that 0 belongs to is whole numbers. That means 0 is also a rational or integer, rational, real, and complex. Let's talk about the number pi. The number pi, the smallest group that pi belongs to, is irrational. That means pi is irrational, real, and complex. If we talk about the number 7 minus 3i, 7 minus 3i is only a complex number, it is not part of any other group. And then if we talk about the number 8, the number 8 is a natural number, a whole number, an integer, a rational number, a real number, and a complex number. So we can use these visual organizers to help us organize what type of number it is. Also, the same thing goes for the different types of numbers. So if we have a number here that's zero for a whole number. Zero is inside the whole numbers. It's inside the integers. It's inside the rational numbers. It's inside the real numbers. and It's inside the complex numbers. So visual organizers can be used to help us better understand the types of numbers and how they are parts of other number sets.